my dazzling toastmaster girish my sparkling toastmaster meena my scintillating toastmaster gunjan and my dedicated office bearers and role takers i milan kulakar welcome you all to the 59694 meeting of the my club number 1254322 the speech we were toastmasters club bangalore our club's mission is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence confidence and personal growth those masters help people our those master have helped people from diverse background to become more confident communicator and leader I request you all to uphold the cardinal principle of Toastmasters meeting. Keep your mobile muted at all times. And I give you five seconds for that. Five, four, three, two, one. As well as your audio microphone muted at all times, except when you are invited to speak. Keep your video on at all times, unless. Judgment to every role takers and speakers. Make sure to applaud them virtually. Role take forth. Role takers and speakers will consciously refrain from expressing their personal views on sex, politics, and religion to ensure that the sentiment of the audience are not heard. So please join me in welcoming our presiding officer, who has come all the way from Delhi. is working in paichung butia sports academy and not only is fond of cinema movies he is a cinephile but also fond of sports he is a personal marathon runner and an avid toastmaster who helps toastmaster across the globe to encourage their communication skills and leadership skills he walks the talk so please join me in welcoming our presiding officer for the day Toastmaster Bidu Das. Thank you so much, S A Toastmaster Milan sir, and good evening again, Toastmasters and guests. Thank you for joining Speech Weavers Toastmasters Clubs meeting number six ninety four. I am the presiding officer for today, and I declare the meeting to be open. Our club is known for creating a warm, friendly, and supportive environment as we gather each week to fulfill the Toastmasters mission, ably told by our S A. Apart from that, we show up for a variety of reasons: to improve public speaking, to develop leadership skills, or just to socialize. But all those diverse reasons culminate into a single overarching goal, which is to make ourselves a little better every single day. To all the guests who have joined us, I appreciate everyone's presence here for taking time out of their busy schedule to join us on a Friday, and I'm sure you will have a great time in the next one and a half hours. Today's the meeting is going to be special. You know why? for those of you who might have looked at the poster you might have noticed christmas has has come little bit sooner to our club not only that the toastmasters of the day who is speaking on the team exma celebration is debuting as the toastmaster of the day so let us all give a round of applause to toastmaster girish who is taking this plunge and wish him all the best thank you thank you so much uh, toastmaster bidu so uh, first of all it's a celebration month so i would uh, so this session will be celebrating like we will be having a talking about more about the christmas and the celebrations and the happiness so my name is girish and uh, i uh, i have like like this theme uh, before starting so there will be few questions i will be asking throughout uh, before introducing people and i need everyone's response in the chat so uh, before that uh, we have i think uh, we have any guests in the forum uh i don't think we have any guests in the room i think all of them are two masters okay so as a uh, beginning we will be saying about uh, what's a toast master for the uh, guests somebody is there i think everyone is aware about uh, the uh, what a toast master club is for the beneficial one more time remaining that i will say about uh, what is toast master so 
I would like to tell uh, the Toastmaster is an international organization founded in 1924. It is a hundred years old organization. It is overspread across the countries and uh, over 3,65,000 members have been uh, benefiting from this organization. We belong to a district 92 and our club speech weavers has a majority from Bangalore. But uh, due to the pandemic, has helped us cross geographical uh, boundaries. And now our club has people joining from across India and uh, around the world. I think every Toastmasters meeting has uh, three sessions. Uh, one will be the uh, prepared uh, speech and uh, there will be evaluators who will be evaluating the speech. And we have table topics master speech where uh, it is a big, major part where everyone in this meeting will be get an opportunity to speak on spontaneous topics and share their uh, imaginations on the topics and uh, the third one is general evaluation session where our general evaluator will be evaluating all the participants who presented their topic at the end of the uh, session and yeah yes so now i would like to say something about the theme of today that is Christmas celebration. I don't think uh, the people or the participants in this call need an ex explanation about what is Christmas. Or I think more than me, you have celebrated the Christmas celebration over the last years. I think I'm, I am the junior in this group. So still, I would like to say what I uh, want to say about the celebration. So Christmas. Is celebrated on uh, December 25th of every year. It's a common thing, right? Everyone knows it. But uh, anyone can say when uh, this celebration is starting. Is it on exact December 25th? Please uh, type you, uh, type on the chat. You can type the date when uh, this Christmas is starting. Okay. Which date? Is it a December 23rd or is it a December 24th? Or is it at December 25th? I can see chats. I can see the uh, correct answer also. Actually, uh, uh, Christmas starts from the Christmas Eve. It is from December 24th. So from that time itself, the celebration begins. Uh, people go to church for prayers and all. And 25th, the official Christmas will be celebrated. So. Why we celebrate Christmas? Christmas is celebrated as the birth of Jesus Christ, but it also a deeper meaning there is. So Jesus Christ, who was born at that time, when greed, then uh, hatred, and uh, ignorance prevailed upon the land. So he he spread the message of peace and gave a spiritual turn to the life of people. So if we apart the spiritual thing. He was a uh, person who was a civilization, we can say. Make people to think about uh, how to take care, uh, care of others, peace, love, everything he has a person who he was spread. So the son of God sacrificed his life for the sin of humanity. So that's why we are celebrating Christmas. Over the tradition, like the, from the beginning to now, Everything is changing, right? The way we are celebrating uh, every festival is changing. In the Western world, Christmas marks the end of the winter uh, solstice. They are celebrating it as a part of the geography where the climate changes. They are celebrating it. And uh, people celebrate the end of the cold, harsh winter and the beginning of the warm. And the sunny days when it comes, they are celebrating it like that. And uh, Christmas is celebrated with the spirit of unity, they are thinking. And also helps like where uh, poor people are suffering. Help them. Uh, time spend time for them. Spend, if they are not able to celebrate, spend time. Give money. Celebrate each other uh, together. Give food. So that unity also they are considering is a time. Remember uh, unity. Everything like people help those who don't have enough uh, money or resources to celebrate the festival. So it's one. A uh, way of a celebrating a festival and also a unity where uh, no levels people come down and uh, help each other 
even the neighbors who are not speaking, if we can say in our uh, situation, <laughs> in a city life, people come, any festival, it's a festival of lights, it's a festival of color, it's a festival of food also, we can say. So all together, a combination of love, peace, food, color, community, everything we can see in, in Christmas. And uh, the prayers, the sound, everything brings the uh, unity in uh, everyone. As I think uh, one more one more question I will ask. How many of you in your childhood had uh, made a crib? Is message on uh, the chat. If, if, if you have a doubt, what is a crib? It's a, uh, like we'll be making a mold of the uh, place like that uh, cattle uh, shed where uh, Jesus Christ has birth. So that stars, that uh, uh, Mary and uh, Joseph, who are the father and mother of Jesus, we consider. We'll be making that three kings standing behind that crib who are have made. Have you made it uh, together or uh, alone? There itself, we can see that uh, unity, like the uh, happiness, that unity, that creativity, everything comes together when we uh, start celebrating or thinking about that. And on note of that, I think, uh, uh, who is the timer in this call? Uh, if, if I um, overcross the time, just let me know. <laughs> if I am saying about the celebration, I think oh, throughout I could have uh, talked about uh, Christmas. So. We will be talking about Christmas throughout this call, but before that, we'll be giving time for others, also, like uh, our agenda will be also will be following. So I welcome, uh, so eval uh, our general evaluator, uh, Toastmaster uh, Millen. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so our, we will be having, a, a going to the first session, I'll be introducing the uh, general evaluator for this uh, our call, Toastmaster Nadia Selvan. So about Nadia Selvan, he is a senior technical leader in Cisco and has spent close to 21 years in Cisco. He's a veteran Toastmaster of seven years. Well, uh, I would welcome Toastmaster uh, general, evaluator, general evaluator Nadia Selvan to this call. And uh, we have our prepared speeches. Prepared speeches. First, I would like to welcome evaluator Toastmaster Milind. He will be evaluating the first speaker. Uh, sir, uh, uh, Girish, first give it to G. He has to share who is. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you for it. Yeah. yeah. Over to you, general evaluator, evaluator Narian Selvan. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day, uh, Girish. Uh, definitely, the team has brought in the mood of celebration already well ahead of time and in a great way. And uh, uh, thanks, Melin, for intervening and getting me this opportunity now as well. Um, as a general evaluator, um, as you know, uh, I'll be evaluating the entire meeting. Uh, to help me in this task, I have the specific evaluators for uh, different prepared speeches. Apart from that, uh, we also have a tag team, a team of role players who will be evaluating specific aspects uh, of the entire session. One is uh, definitely the timer, one of the most important person who will ensure we, we all go back home tonight and uh, have uh, fun and we finish the meeting on time. That is uh, Meena. Meena, you want to talk about your role? Please. Yes, yes. Thank you, Toastmaster Nadeel. A oh, very good evening to all fellow Toastmasters. Being a timer, as the general evaluator has mentioned, it's my duty to show the cards so that all the sessions are going in time. For that, I'll be having three cards. You can just check on my background. First would be green, then yellow, and red. This will be displayed accordingly 
For instance, for the prepared speeches, we have five to seven minutes for both the spe speakers. Five minutes, I'll be showing green. At the sixth minute, yellow. And at the seventh minute, red, they'll be having 30 seconds buffer time to wind up. For evaluators, I'll be showing green at second minute, yellow at 2.5 minute, and red at third minute. Again, they'll be having 30 seconds to wind up. And for table topics, I'll be showing green at first minute, yellow at 1.5 minute, and red at second minute, and again, 30 seconds to wind up. So with this being told, please stick to the timer cards and do wrap up in time, and I'll be watching all of you. So over to you, Toastmaster Nadine. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Our grammarian today is Bidu. Bidu, you want to explain your role quickly? Thank you so much, General Evaluator. Dear Toastmasters, uh, as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers and to take note of outstanding usages of words, sentences, and phrases. I'll also highlight the improvement areas in places where speakers have not used the great phrases. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is belay or belies, which means to fail, to give a true impression of something. I'll give an example of the usage. His understanding of complex life philosophy belies his age. I repeat, his understanding of complex life philosophy belies his age. I request all the Toastmasters and guests to use the word wherever appropriate. And if you do, I'll appreciate by showing a thumbs up and also calling out their names at the end of the meeting. Thank you. I'll give my report at the end of the meeting when called upon by the general evaluator. Thanks a lot, uh, Toastmaster Bidu. Can we hear it for uh, Bidu as well as Meena? Thank you so much. Now, the R counter for today is uh, Gunjan. Uh, Gunjan, you want to share a few words about your role today? Uh, thank you so much, general evaluator. Good evening, everyone, and in advance, Merry Christmas. So uh, today I will be your uh, counter. Uh, uh, crutch words are unnecessary. Sometimes they get in the way of effective communication. The purpose of our counter is to note any overused word or filler sounds used as a crutch by anyone who speaks during the meeting. Words may be inappropriate interjections, such as as and well, but so, and you know, sounds maybe a hmm, or a. At the end of the meeting, I will be presenting the report, the number of times each user used these expressions and all. Thank you so much. What do you generally evaluate? Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Gunjan. That's about the role takers. In the end of the meeting, I'll be asking you uh, three questions. Uh, I don't see a separate listener, so I'll be asking you uh, three questions. Uh, it, it would be uh, from any part of the meeting. Thank you, and uh, back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, uh, General Evaluator Amadian. So, uh... We are moving to the next step, the prepared speech. So we have two speakers for today. And uh, the first speaker is a uh, Toastmaster Adarsh. Before moving to Adarsh, I would like to call our evaluator, uh, first evaluator, Toastmaster Milink, to give an introduction about the uh, speaker. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Girish. The speaker number one, Today, we'll be giving a speech from his pathways engaging humor. And it is level one, project number three. It is about introduction to vocal variety and body language. Timer, please note, time is five to seven minutes. Over to the Toastmaster. I think uh, before I, uh, moving uh, to the others, I would like to give an introduction about others. So it will be a miss from my side if I'm not giving it. So you should know about the trainer first, then the training topic. So Adarsh is a founder of Financiers, an offline come online setup that offers and advises uh, and all financial products. He is also uh, director of 
deep pocket deep pockets technologies private limited and that's all over to you uh, others for the topic don't overcome it don't overcome it others over to you over commitment what does that mean what does that mean well the person that's standing right before you or i'll say sitting right before you is the epitome of over commitment now i'd like one of you in this audience to sort of step up and tell us what over commitment is i see some smiley a smiling faces in the audience you know let me call on uh, miss shiba to tell us what do you think over commitment is over commitment you are asking me yes i would like to i'd like to hear from you on what you yes, think yes. over commitment means uh failing to say no that is over commitment sometimes we 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 cannot say no that is over commitment for me thank you so much very short and sweet answer and i think it sums up what i'm actually looking at all of us should learn the art of saying no isn't that right now how many of you in this room are into sales by any chance do you sell anything for a living do you sell in your organization or anything for that matter okay i see bidu raising his hand i see gunjan sort of raising a hand well i'm going to presume that all of you are into sales in some aspect because no matter what business it is there's an element of selling in what now to describe myself i'm a financial planner now as a planner i don't sell anything people just come to me i tell them what they are supposed to do and i give them a clear pathway to achieve their financial goals which could include retirement vacation planning and i tag this to various investments that are available in our indian market now what happens during this business is that i come across so many people as a company we manage over 1500 clients so i have to cater to every one of them along with the other advisors and what happens is that i cannot always be on time i cannot always submit the investment proposal to the client on time there will be days that i give the proposal to them on time and there will be days where i take an entire week to revert to them unreasonably so because at the end of the day one must research one must research really hard and must try to understand the risk and return involved in each investment option when i give it to a client but what happens is that i am someone that's totally out of the ordinary because recently there was a time where i met one of my biggest clients i sat before him and we discussed for hours together over zoom and after the discussion the client thought that i'd need an entire week to draft a report and he said other you know what take your time and come back to me but being the over committed soul that i am i told him sir i'll come back to you by tonight and he had such a puzzled look on his face and he told me adarsh are you actually sure you can do it by tonight are you sure yes sir i think i can do it by tonight what do you think i am this is my job this is exactly what i do for a living i'll come back to you by tonight 9 o'clock with the investment proposal in my hand and guess what i took an entire week to revert to that's one of the many things i do the context of over commitment now i'd like to hear from you on how many of you in this room by a show of hands love to write 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 anything for that matter write stories write books write anything yeah i see a lot of people raising their hands people love to write well i love to write as well you might ask what i write well i write articles about a sport that i love a lot it is football i love football to a great extent i'm part of this fan blog that i run along with a few others where i put out football articles pretty much every week and i'm also responsible for editing those articles there was a time that i thought i don't have the time for it because i'm running a business i'm studying i'm doing too many things at once so i felt maybe i should just take a break from this and i took a break i took a break and a couple of months later my commitments piled up because i had so many other things to do but in the middle of all of this someone from that that is from the website that i was writing on came to me and told me adarsh can you take up a bigger responsibility 
can you take up the responsibility of probably writing more articles, editing more articles for a better pay? Now, I don't care about the pay. I just love the part where I get to feel more responsible, get to be a decision maker in enterprise. I didn't think much. I just said yes. I said yes. And something that you must know is that I failed on so many different levels. I was not able to put out the articles on time. I was not able to edit anything on time. I badly write an article every week. And that right there is another sign of overcommitment. Now, let me go to another interesting aspect. How many of you in this room, how many of you in this room love reading? How many of you love reading? Of course, not everybody is into writing, but I'm sure some of you are into reading. Yes, I see Milan sir raising his hand. Well, you know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. That's right. I recently, or not recently, but rather in the last one month, that's why just in the last one month, I must have bought a minimum of around six novels. That's right. I bought a minimum of six novels in the last one month alone. You already know where I'm going with this. I've not read a single novel that I've bought. I go to a bookstore pretty much every time I have time. I buy a book. I come back home and it goes straight into my shelf and I never open it. And this has been the case for a few years, but I've never learned my lesson. And last but not the least, how many of you love public speaking in this room? How many of you love public speaking? Public speaking and leadership. Yes, Meena is raising her hand. Nabian is raising his hand. I love public speaking as well. As a matter of fact, this past week, I reached out to Bidu and I asked him, Bidu, I want a speech slot for the upcoming week at all costs. I want a speech slot. There is no doubt about it. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you delivering a speech while not being prepared one bit. I don't even have a script. I'm just talking from my own heart. I don't even know what to tell. That's another sign of overcommitment. Yes, I'm doing a decent job at my speech, but had I put in a bit more work, maybe I could be doing a lot better. I don't know. Now, how do you end this misery? How do you end this misery of not preparing for your speech or not preparing for things? Or most importantly, how do you end this misery of overcommitting to things? Well, it's pretty simple. Prioritize. That's why just prioritize your tasks based on the importance of it. Because not every task is important at the same time. Maybe there are tasks that you love a lot. Maybe there are tasks that you enjoy doing. But if you don't have the time for it, just don't do it. Just don't do it. But it doesn't mean you don't ever have to do it. You can probably come back to it later. Because in my case, my work and studies are about most importance. So that's priority number one. Priority number two, I love to write. That's priority number two. Public speaking, Toastmasters, well, that's part of my work as I consider it. So that ranks in priority one as well. But when it comes to anything else, that's priority number three. And I'm not coming back to it anytime soon. But I will come back. I will come back when I have the time. In short, don't overcome it. Please don't overcome it. And if you still don't understand, I would like all of you to direct your attention to me. I want all of you to look at me. I want you to look into my eyes. That's why I just look into my eyes. And I want all of you to know, please don't be like me. Just don't be like me whatsoever. That is all you ever have to do to be successful in life. <laughs> Back to you. Toastmaster video. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Adarshi. It was a really nice, inspiring speech. So I think for the Toastmaster of the day, I, I was returning, uh, I was returning like two, three pages paper and I was preferring which one to take for the next thing. So you you said, yeah, I think it's a, a bit of things people who need to uh, learn from you, who need to speak from their mind, then they, we don't need to prepare something, right? It was really inspiring. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adarsh. So next we have the speaker, speaker two. Speaker two, uh, before going to speaker two, I would like to welcome evaluator of uh, speaker two, that is Toastmaster Shiva. 
over to you, uh, Toastmaster Shiva, to give the guidelines to speaker. And our uh, speaker two is Toastmaster Joseph. Over to you, uh, Shiva. Thank you so much for inviting me uh, for uh, elucidating the purpose of uh, uh, speaker number two. A very good evening to all the Toastmasters and uh, advance uh, uh, happy Christmas to everyone. Today we have a powerful speaker. He is none other than Toastmaster Joseph. He'll be presenting from the Pathways Presentation Mastery and from Level Three Project Two. Uh, the purpose of the speech, uh, uh, the purpose of the speech is, uh, the project is for the uh, member to practice delivering a social speeches in front of the club members. And the title is so sweet. The title of the speech is Happy Birthday. Timer, please note the timing is three to four minutes. So all the very best, Toastmaster Joseph. Over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Shiva. Uh, before moving to Toastmaster, uh, to the speaker, Toastmaster Joseph, I would like to give an uh, introduction about, uh, to introduce the speaker of the day, uh, uh, Toastmaster Joseph. As a professional, he worked as a uh, design engineer for 30 years with uh, some reputed projects like Nagarjuna and Godavari projects also consulting in Saudi Arabia. As a hobby, he is a photographer. He started off uh, with a box camera and now using the latest technology. He is a photographer. He mesmerizes uh, audience with his singing skill. It's a, in Toastmasters uh, club. He continues uh, since last three years. He is a member of three clubs. And in speech favors, he was the past president. And he also is associated with club in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Over to you, Toastmaster Joseph. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, I would like to check whether the timing is three to four minutes or four, four to five minutes. Can you please tell me? So this, I think the speech timing is three to four minutes, is it? Meena, I can probably cross check. It says five to seven minutes in the agenda. No, it, it should be four to five minutes. Okay, four to five minutes in that case. Yeah. So that will be uh, green at four minutes, four minutes, 20 seconds. Hello. At Hello. Five. Okay. Noted. The time starts now. My daughter, Jaya, called me in the month of June 1st in 2018. Dad, today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. I said, today is only the first, but I was not born on the first. Dad, it is a tradition in our family to spend, wish people who the celebrity on the particular month from the day one and you, more or, more or less, you are going to turn an octogenarian today. So that was a wonderful loss. Wow. Good evening, those masters, and Merry Christmas to one and all. How many of you celebrate or wish your birthday celebrity on the first of every month? Maybe some may do, some may not do. Some even call at the 12 o'clock midnight and say, happy birthday to you. So these are all some of the traditions, the love that you have for your own members of the family. So what happened? The next is they started preparing my birthday in a very grand scale. They, they planned it in, well in advance because we have been inviting people from another state and also the friends and relatives over Bangalore area. For this, they have to make a reservation for them. And that is why the early start of the preparation. What they planned was that the celebration will start the entry for the, we have made a pandal in the rooftop. And the entry for me will be the song of Bahubali. So that was my entry. They will shower flowers and my granddaughter, Sweetie, will garland me. So this was the plan. 
And we are going to, they also plan for a chef from Hyderabad in order to prepare Hyderabad biryani. That is a famous biryani all over India. They like to have it. So we called a chef from Hyderabad and started a day before to accommodate them and give them everything that they wanted to prepare. In the same way, the dresses are being arranged. All the other paraphernalia have been arranged. The tents and all the other utensils have been arranged by the children. And it was done in a very, very enthusiastic and a, what I would say, they pour out all the love of, from them for me so that to, I should be made happy on this particular milestone speech. The 18th has come, we went all to the church first, celebrated the mass, made an offering, Thanksgiving mass it was, and then in the church itself, other than the offering, we also distributed cake and coffee for all those who have been, who attended the church as the visitors, as well as the invitees. From then on, we came back home and start preparing everything for the night voluptuous dinner. As planned, everything went on very well. The dinner was the biryani added to that, a particular type of vegetarian dishes that goes with the biryani and everything was prepared. Then it came to the time of celebration. In the time of celebration, I started with a prayer and a thanksgiving. And at the same time, I welcomed all the audiences, as well as the guests, as well as my friends and important people who attended my the, the celebration, thanking them for their coming. And they gave me the gifts, whichever that has been suitable for me, whatever it is, I accepted wholeheartedly. And I was asked to sing a song for my beloved who is no more in this world. The song was like this. It's a big song. I cannot sing all that because of the count of time. That is how the, my celebration finally he ended with a grand dinner and a music followed by that and it ended at late part of the night. And now I offer my entire regards, love and affection for my children, grandchildren who have been the sole purpose of making this one with all their love and affection to me. And I thank them for this, for such a celebration. God bless them. How many of you do this? Also, follow the way which I have done whenever you have celebration of that birthday. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a great speech, uh, Toastmaster Joseph. You have shared the how you have celebrated uh, the birthday function and how the family members have treated you. It actually brings up, make us also think how we are treating our parents and how we are celebrating any any celebration in our family, right? So we'll be now, a, a tips you have given, like how to celebrate and how to make our family members uh, recognize and make them happy. Thank you so much, Joseph. And before moving to the next session, which is the uh, main part, we can say the pulse of our Toastmasters, which gives uh, people to talk on uh, certain topics like the uh, toast, uh, table topics masters. I would like to uh, know some answers from you on the chat. Please open your chat box. So once you are ready, uh, just give a thumbs up. OK. So one question I would like to ask regarding is when hearing about Christmas, what are the uh, 10 objects comes to your mind or 10 things comes to your mind? Type in one chat and please put enter. It can be example candies, 
lights, bulbs, so many things are there. So from your childhood, hearing for the first time, uh, Christmas, the word, what's coming to your mind, you can type it down. If you forget about something, that it's the time for reminding, like how you are celebrated Christmas. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Chat box close. So uh, when I was preparing this question, uh, one of my colleagues was the fresher. So when I asked him, he said, uh, exams, holidays, pen, paper, everything related to his studies. <laughs> so when uh, preparing that, even I have uh, remembering like some things which I have forgot, making the script for Christmas with the friends, as we told uh, initially. And uh, mm -hmm. chocolates, uh, the bulbs, the stars. OK, so one more question. Uh, <clears throat> what is a, uh, like Christmas is a, a festival where we give gifts. Have you received a gift card from uh, your friends or someone? If yes, uh, type yes. Have you given a gift card written by your hand with the wishes to your friends or ladies? Have you uh, received one card? Okay. How many of you are still keeping uh, one of the favorite cards you have received in the past years? Yes or no? Because that card will be having memories, the sweet memories uh, somebody has written to you from their heart. Anybody keeping that? I can see Meena, Samsung, Gunjan. OK. So yes, as I said, this is a celebration of love and love and the memories about uh, the people who are remembering you, the loved ones, and keep sharing the love. And with on note of that, uh, I would like to uh, call our toast master, uh, a table topics master, uh, which is again a, to a toast master Joseph, who is handling the dual role today. Uh, I'm welcoming toast master uh, Joseph to. Uh, present the table topics uh, must roll. Over to you, Joseph. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Toastmasters and dear audience, it is the tradition in the Toastmaster Club during the meeting to have the impromptu speech for a period of two minutes so that you will be given a chance to speak in the club, whether you are a Toastmaster or a non-Toastmaster. We take this opportunity to give you a wonderful chance uh, to speak in our club, and we appreciate each and every one of you who are doing the table topic from impromptu speech within time. Please do not say thanks. Do not say anything other than starting the very subject of the topic. At the same time, you, you should also follow the procedure. At 30 seconds, you will think, then the, then the formation of the body of the subject, and then finally you will give the message. This is the procedure of the Toastmaster uh, table topic speech. So I would like to call upon anyone who can volunteer uh, would like to take, I have prepared one to 10 number. Kindly say what number you would like to speak. Over to you, the audience. I think everyone is raising their hand. Yeah, I 
I can go, sir. I can okay. go, sir. Number one. What was your favorite Christmas gift you received as a child? In Pune, we were invited by my school for Christmas celebration. That was in class one. And that was the first year when I joined St. Vincent School. And we had to pay some paltry amount of 50 paise that time. A coupon was given. When I entered the chapel, the way it was celebrated, and the first best thing, they gave in a colored paper a gift to us. And I opened it, it was all lodgings, colorful child, colorful green, yellow, name it, it was there. I was just thrilled. So those were unique lodgings which they were given. And of course, then after entering, we had cake and celebration. But those bunch of lodgings and toffees which were there, colorful, that was something I did not eat anything. I again wrapped it properly the way it was given because I wanted to show it to my mother how beautiful it was given. And my best friends, my neighbors, etc. So that was something was my first Christmas thing. Otherwise, thereafter, of course, we have been getting cakes and neighbors have been given. You have been very kind of giving every year Christmas gifts, which has been awesome. But that is something which I still remember in my first standard at St. Vincent School in Pune. So that is something I cherish even today. And could you made me recall that I totally forgotten. The moment you asked that question, suddenly I went to 1963 years. I must be, yeah, 64, 65. Yeah, it must be that in class when I was in 1965. So that is something I really enjoyed it. So that is something. So this is something thanks to you to make me recall my fond memory almost 55 years back. So that is something awesome to you. And thanks to you and thanks to Toastmaster. And over to the table topic master, Toastmaster Joseph. Thank you, DT and Milenji, for that wonderful remembrance of yours in spite of 55 years. You have a very great memory uh, for the one which you have gifted me. Now, I would like to ask another volunteer to give his number. Sir, I think Gunjan wanted to go the last time around. I think you can probably go ahead. Number 10. Number 10. What does Christmas mean to you? Over to you, Kunjan. I never celebrated Christmas before, but yes, I so my brother's birthday is on 23rd of December. So I always help him to celebrate, help him to feel like, okay, it's a Christmas for him. So it is like that whenever we celebrated his birthday on 23rd and whatever gifts he got, and we just asked what you want on Christmas, what do you want from Santa? And if it is related to those gifts, we simply save the, that gift with us. And on 25th morning, when he got up now, we just simply uh, keep that gift in that socks. She, he always keep that socks uh, beside the him, night of 24th. And in the morning when he get up and he saw the gift, he feels like, wow, it's Santa gave me. So I never celebrated, but I always help him to, to, to feel like it's Christmas for him. And he always enjoyed. And with him, I always enjoyed. So this is like that, but I really like plum cake. So one of my colleague in my previous organization, she used to bring plum cake. We eat that. I miss those cakes now. I'm not getting those cakes. But this year, hopefully, I will get again as I rejoined the organization. So let's see. That's it. Thank you so much. That was a wonderful speech by you, Gunjan. And uh, a similar thing that happened even in my um, family, that is my daughter was born on 25th of December. And she never... Uh, she cuts the cake which someone was brought for us for the Christmas 
we never buy a cake for her. That is very unfortunate, but she still has a second dress for her birthday. Now coming to the next question, uh, who will volunteer the next one? I can participate, sir. Yeah, no problem. What is your number? I'll go with the number five. Five. Santa is thinking of getting a new look. How would you update his red and white iconic look? Over to you. Can I repeat? Yes, Santa is it thinking would be great. of getting a new look. How would you update his red and white iconic look? Thank you so much, Table Topic Master and fellow guests for joining in from different parts. Well, it's Christmas time and nothing can be so special rather than getting decked up in the way Santa Claus does. The red and the white, both are the colors of purity. Both are the colors of happiness. And it indeed makes all of us feel special because from the early childhood days, we were very fond about getting gifts. And we were all aware of the fact that during Christmas, it's Santa Claus who gives us those gifts. The hidden secrets just underneath our pillows, that used to be a top secret because our parents used to tell us that it's Santa who has flown all the way from nowhere, entered There is some technical issue for him, I think. Yeah, I think we can move to the next topic because his time well, is all. Next one, and we can rejoin once. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Trustmaster Joseph, I think we can go to. Uh, so you can check. call the next speaker, and then once he joins, he can continue. Oh. Who would like to volunteer for the next You're talk? Muted, sir. What is the number, please? Yes, sir, you are muted. Oh, I am muted. Now I am uh, audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Oh. Meena wanted to go ahead. Are you able to hear others? Oh, then continue, please continue. Okay, what's your number? Anything, Mina? whichever you'd like to pick up. Anything is fine. Okay. I'll give you, you are a very good uh, table topic speaker, I understand. I'll give you number seven. If money were no object, what gift would you give you a special someone? Shall I repeat? Thank you. Or? Uh, no, it's, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, Table Topic Master. Santa Claus is coming to town. These were some of the lyrics, carols that we sang when we were in 10th standard, the last Christmas of my schooling. One thing I was sure is to carry the memories my friends had celebrated with me. I took a balloon. I asked all my friends to come and sign a message for me. All of them came forward. I have two balloons with messages, hearts, smileys, best wishes, all of them signed with different sketches on those balloons. And you know what? I carried them home and I still have it today. One special gift my friends gave to me is memories. It need not always be money. Memories are something that we cherish. It's our past that is coming with us. It's the people with whom we celebrate our time, bringing forward the values, the charisma that we need to carry in our life and upholding the strength that we sometimes tend to forget. 
So if you ask me what is something that I want to give, it's not money. It's not gift because all of us are privileged. Only one thing that we all look forward is love. If you are someone on the other end and you want to give something to someone this Christmas, go ahead, share some love because you'll be rich when you share love. Two hearts will smile. Make memories, share love, and Merry Christmas. Over to you, Table Topic Master. That was an amazing speech, uh, Bina. I know that you will be really going upward journey in that one. It's really, in the meaning of Christmas itself is a love. Therefore, we have to cherish love one another. Uh, time, do I have uh, any one more or should I, how much time I have for the next topic? Can I take it? Yes, time Joseph, so you can, you can take one more topic. Only one or two? Six, six, we need to hand it over to, you can take one probably because we just okay. have 30 minutes. Okay. Who is the next volunteer? Adesh can take up? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Nadian Selvan has raised, had raised his hand. Okay, Nadian has raised his hand. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your number? Six. Six. Nadia, you are going to take it up? Yeah, yes. Who, who exactly is taking the uh, role? Nadi. Nadian. Nadian. Nadian, okay. What is your favorite song? My uh, favorite song is um, from a um, Tamil movie. Uh, there, there used to be an actor called MGR, uh, MG Ramachandran. I'm sure at least of the people here would know. He, he was, uh, he was a superstar in his times. Uh, definitely, he also had hard times and good times, and he strived through everything. And he also succeeded in politics and. Um, he was almost like a permanent chief minister for more than 12 years. I may not be a big Bob, fan of this. Your song should be related to the Christmas season. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, definitely the one song I remember uh, well is uh, the Jingle Bell song that definitely brings a lot of um, positive vibe and happiness along with it and I, I am a very a big fan of uh, Christmas movies as well at least um, uh, six seven movies I would have watched and uh, we, we have many uh, good Christmas movies and um, it, it brings in the positive vibe and it most of the movies bring in the Jingle Bell song as well for sure and apart from all that, it brings in good messages as well, those Christmas movies. So whenever I hear the song, I remember the messages. Whenever I hear the song, I remember those movies. And, uh, in general, a uh, uh, key concern uh, that I have is our educational system where uh, we don't teach a lot of values. Uh, to our children as part of our formal education system. Either the Christmas season or the movies on Christmas or the song which symbolizes and represents uh, uh, this whole thing always remind us about great values, reminds us about love, reminds us about sharing, and also reminds us about the missing timer. Anyone else is timing me or uh, I somehow can't see the timer. And uh, I can talk endlessly about it, but uh, I, I guess I crossed the time. So 
I I give it back to you, the table topic master, with the song uh, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle All the Way. Back to you, table topic master. Thank you, Nadia. Uh, that that is your favorite song. Thank you so much. Now, I will, uh, all the speakers have really attempted very well the table topic. And it is really interesting. And the team is also, they have taken up very much. I give, a, let us give a great applause to all the speakers of the table topic. I transfer the virtual stage to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, table topic master Joseph. So all the topics uh, was related to Christmas. And I think people were speaking more than the time which was given to them. And one, uh, maybe one confusing thing they might have seen that everyone is on red background, where the time they were thinking and where they need to stop, they were get confused. Uh, sorry about that. It was related to our theme. And the topics, it was really, uh, really simple and humble topics uh, you have shared, Joseph, which we, uh, given an opportunity for all the speakers to speak on easily because it was related to their heart. And on top of uh, on behalf of that, before moving to our uh, next session, it is a general evaluation for the uh, all the uh, speakers. I would like to ask one question, like one one more uh, chat response we need. So everyone knows uh, Santa Claus. Do you uh, really know that he's a real person or it's a fictional uh, myth? You can say yes or no. Is a is a myth or a real person? Children will be waiting for at the night time to put the gift next to their bed. So he's is he a, is he a myth or a, a real person? Looking for the chat. Yes, no. So I can see a. Uh, Gunjan typed uh, a name, a person named Santa. So actually, uh, there was a real person in the uh, past. Uh, his name was Nicholas of Myra. He was actually from uh, Palestine. If, uh, right now it's Palestine. And uh, he was from there. Uh, uh, he, Nicholas, uh, he was a bishop, in a, a real life bishop in living in third century. And I mean, not from Palestine, actually, he was from Turkey. He was a, a real person. So he was uh, helping up, uh, seeing the uh, people who are in a uh, uh, very bad condition. You are like uh, not getting food done. Not. He used to give food parcels or and toys and all to the children who were staying in the streets. And uh, to the people who were in very cold place, he used to keep foods in their uh, keep their foods and toys in the uh, Christmas time, chocolates and food to their home. So we still now remembering that good mind, and we calling him as uh, our Santa of Christmas. So I think most of us is having a Santa inside us. We hoping that that Santa will be coming out in this Christmas uh, month and helping each other, helping uh, everyone. And on behalf of that, over to you, uh, our gen giving the role over to General Evaluator Nadian Selvan to evaluate all our speakers. Over to you, Nadian. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, TMOD Grish. Can we hear a good round of applause for our TMOD? And um, definitely the quality of today's meeting belayed the attendance with an awesome session today. Though we had 10 people, many took up multiple roles and we had a great quality meeting. Thanks to all of you. Kudos to all of you. Let me uh, start uh, with my uh, comments on the SAA. It was a very, very energetic start. It's almost like a definition of how an SAA should start the session. Thanks to Toastmaster Milin, sir, 
it was a very energetic start and he covered all the important points and uh, if at all um, I need to look at uh, any specific improvement maybe the president introduction if any surprise element can be brought in uh, that that would be uh, good um, let us all hear it for our essay who almost like gave an example of how the session should happen thanks a lot Milin sir then coming to the um uh, before uh, yeah before uh, talking about the presidential address and uh, tmod i would like to move on with the uh, evaluation for the prepared speeches the speaker one was adarsh and his evaluator is milin sir toastmaster toastmaster milin sir would you like to take the stage and share your evaluation on the speech Thank you, General Evaluator Nadian. My target speaker, can I see him on the screen? Can we spotlight him also along with me, if possible, both of us, so we can focus on him. So let's have both of us on the spotlight. Yeah, thank you. My target speaker, Adarsh, you excelled by having a speech which was almost like conversing with each other, each one of us talking to us across the table and sharing in a very relaxed, smiling way as we are talking. So that is a unique thing, a conversational style of expressing your views. And you had an expressive facial expression and you shared your personal incidents. And that needs, and especially when you failed miserably by overcommitting. And it needs a lot of commitment and courage to share your failures and then you concluded by persuading the audience at length not to do what you do and even what you did today while giving a extempo speech instead of prepared speech. And you've told them as a magic solution that you should prioritize. So that is an area where you excel. Now coming to prepared speeches or where you can work on as you yourself confessed, you know what is required here as the to table topic uh, is a extempo and this one is a prepared speech. Well, you yourself confessed you were not prepared and you ended up giving an extempo, eight minutes, 58 seconds table topic. So that is something you can work on because ultimately what was the project? It's an introduction of vocal variety and body language. Yes, your facial expression was there, but since you were sitting, so your body language was not expressive, as well as vocal variety. So just try to select a topic based on what is required in this prepared project of yours, which is you are giving a level one project three. You are already gone to the third project. So just be careful, cautious or conscious of what is the requirement of a prepared speech. Prepare well and then deliver. And of course, if possible, you can challenge yourself by standing and giving a prepared speech. So that will add magic to your excellent communication, conversation style. Over to the general evaluator. Thanks a lot, uh, Milin, sir. Uh, can we hear a round of applause for the speaker as well as the evaluator? for both others and Milin sir. Uh, in, uh, as it is custom to our club, we don't share any further evaluation about the speaker. General evaluator uh, do not do that. Uh, rather, he shares comments on the evaluation. And as you set an example, sir, for uh, playing the SA role, you uh, did uh, almost the same thing for an, uh, for an evaluation role as well. Uh, the first thing you did is to put both of you in a spotlight, right, which um, helped also us to look at both of you. That, uh, that was a great start for sure. 
and you also set a mood for a good conversation and shared a lot of good feedback and your observations about the speech uh, and your inputs. Thank you so much, uh, Milin, sir. And if at all, one thing um, I, I suggest uh, that would be you also talked about the commitment and courage of others and uh, kind of um, discussed about him a bit. Whereas in an evaluation, you evaluate the speech rather than the speaker. But in the current situation, uh, I can see where you are coming from. And I really like that part. Maybe for others, for future, uh, please focus on the speech rather than the speaker. With this, thank you, Milin sir and others. We'll move to the speech two evaluation. The evaluator here is Sheba. She is evaluating the speech from Joseph sir. Shiba, please take the stage. Thank you, General Evaluator, for inviting me, for evaluating uh, today's speaker, uh, that is Toastmaster Joseph. I would like to say Toastmaster Joseph has belayed your true age through your speeches. It was a powerful, enthusiastic, energetic, an youngster speech, not an uh, octogenarian speech. I think you are the youngest Toastmaster in this club. I, I feel so through your speech. And regarding your speech, in what area you are excel? Your, uh, your, uh, your speech was very well organized and you delivered it very, uh, very well. You delivered it. And uh, you took us into the mood of Christmas. First of all, uh, the, the cap which you have wore uh, that, uh, uh, that create that which was matching with the team, and you took us. Um, to the mood of Christmas, number one. And number two, I was feeling that when I was listening to your speech, I was feeling that I was one of your family who is arranging all the uh, arrangements, uh, calling the, uh, I mean, uh, event manager and uh, uh, arranging all those things, flower arrangements and everything. I was, I, you gave such an impression uh, in, in your speech. That is, uh, I really uh, felt so happy on that. And the biryani, Hyderabad biryani was so sweet. So tasty. And regarding the speech, the 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 the, the guest, the post, the tone, the intonation, everything was superb. Especially the grooming part. Uh, it was so superb. And your speech was you stand and you give your speech. So that uh, that is why we could uh, clearly. It was your guesters and posters was clearly visible. And um, yes, and then uh, there is no no speeches. 100 percentage right there is some, uh, there is an area of improvement which i have noticed one thing is the time in your evaluation speech the timing uh, which i have noticed is three to four minutes and uh, may i know the timer how much uh, time she took he took five minutes 53 seconds five minutes 53 seconds in that evaluation sheet i noticed that is three to four minutes uh, next time you can improve uh, you can uh, just have a look on that and uh, that is one thing. And number two, whenever we are framing a speech, if there is some curiosity in that speech, it will be really, uh, it will give a very good impression. So I was uh, eagerly waiting something, some curiosity will come, some surprise will come in, in that, that speech which was missing. These are the two areas of improvement I have noticed. Next time you can take this as a challenge in your speech. Thank you so much. Over to a general evaluator. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Shiva. Thanks for um, highlighting, starting with a highlight and uh, an encouragement. Though uh, Joseph Sir is an established Toastmaster, it always helps. And uh, thanks for highlighting the um, uh, good things and um, the positive things in his speech. And also, because that is also important, right? So that people continue to do that. So you, you made good observations on that. And also you highlighted the improvements uh, which are needed as well. Thanks a lot, Sheba. Can we hear it for both Sheba and Joseph, sir? With this, um, let me uh, shift my uh, focus 
towards the role takers of uh, today. Uh, first, probably I would like to call upon the timer. Uh, Meena, you have the timer's report, please. Yes, Toastmaster Nathan. Uh, we had a prepared speakers, prepared speeches from Toastmaster Adarsh taking eight minutes fifty eight seconds, from T M Joseph taking five minutes fifty three seconds, evaluator one D T M Millen took two minutes thirty five seconds, and T M Sheba evaluator took two minutes forty two seconds. Coming to table topics, we had Toastmaster Millen taking one minute fifty five seconds, Toastmaster Gunjan taking one minute thirty six seconds. Toastmaster Abhijit, he took one minute and then he had to drop off and I didn't see him joining in. Then Toastmaster Meena, I took one minute, 43 seconds. Toastmaster Nadian, I would be lying if I say you took two minutes, 55 seconds because first five, 10 seconds I missed then I had to remind myself I'm the timer. So I guess I've given a, a buffer of 10 to 15 seconds because I missed it. So this is the report considering this uh, the both the speakers aren't qualified considering the time aspect evaluators toastmaster sheba both the evaluators are qualified and coming to table topics all of us except toastmaster nadian uh, we have been qualified so this is my report and over to you thank you Thanks a lot. Uh, actually, uh, as a matter of fact, um, maybe some internet issue at your end or my end, I, I couldn't see uh, anything being shared. Uh, good. Thanks for a, a detailed uh, report, uh, Meena. Now, uh, can I please call upon the grammarian, uh, Bidu, to share his report, please? Thank you, General Evaluator. I'll I'll share my screen. Um, is this visible? Yes, yes. Okay. Very much. So I'll start with the speakers. So speaker number one, Toastmaster, others had a lot of good words. He used the word epitome. And the crucial point is he used the right pronunciation. It is epitome, not epitome. He used the sentence puzzled look on my face, which is an indication of surprise. He also used at all costs and ending the misery. Coming to the second speaker, Toastmaster Joseph, he used a word which I was also not sure of. It is paraphernalia. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I quickly checked the dictionary and it means miscellaneous articles, especially the equipment needed for a particular activity. So the word paraphernalia is a very, very good word used by speaker two. Coming to table topics, the words were remembrance, memories that takes me back to 1963, getting decked up. Now coming to improvement areas, I must say these sentences were not wrong, but we can obviously improve them. The first one is planning done very well can be replaced by planning done meticulously. Sing a song can be replaced by dedicating a song. The word incidentally can be used when someone is saying my brother incidentally celebrates the birthday on the same day. So we can use the word incidentally. Now there was a sentence which was used people who do not have food and basic necessities. We can use the word impoverished to represent those people. And also a sentence we are able to celebrate with you can be used as vicariously celebrating. Now, finally, I'll come to the people who have used the word of the day. I thank Toastmaster Nadian Selvan too for initiating the word of the day because till that time nobody used it. And after he used it, Toastmaster Shiba and Toastmaster Mina kept on the bandwagon of speaking these words. So I congratulate them. I didn't find any anyone else using it. So what I'll do is I'll probably pull up one more person. Um, others, can you please come on stage? Let's do an activity because you are fond of these activities. Adash, are you there? Yes, apologies, Bidu. I was stuck up in a call. Sorry for that. No problem. Yes, so, ma'am, are we good? Yeah, the so I want you to, no, no. I want you to repeat what I say. Because Repeat I want what you said. Yes, because you did not use the word of the day. Oh, I didn't use the word of the day. Yes, sorry for that. I would like to know what the word of the day is. I think it's belay. Is that, yes. Is that right? Yes, so I'll take a sentence so you can just repeat after me. So the sentence goes like this The way Toastmasters of the, of the day, Girish, aced the table, the Toastmasters of the day, belies his experience in Toastmasters. I repeat, the way. 
Toastmaster Girish aced the Toastmasters of the day, belies his experience in Toastmasters. The way Toastmaster Girish, Toastmaster of the day, belied, I think I've forgotten the rest of the sentence. Maybe you can the, just uh, read out a few words and maybe I can just follow you along the way. Sure, no problem. Yes, yes. The way Toastmaster Girish. The way, the way Toastmaster Girish. Aced the TMOD role. Aced the TMOD role. Belies his experience. Belied his experience. In Toastmasters. Toastmasters. Yeah. Thank you so much, Toastmaster, others for being a sport. With this, I give my stage back to the general evaluator. Thank you, uh, Grammarian, for an excellent report and uh, keeping track and even record of everything. Thank you so much. Uh, with this, let me move to the R counter. Uh, Gunjan, for your report, please. Even I will share the screen. Uh, yes, Gunjan, give me one minute. I'll just give you the co-host right. Yeah, please. please go ahead. Is my screen visible to all? Yes, yes. So, starting with TMOD Girish, he used some uh, some lights. There are some words who he was what he was repeating. Then speaker two, some pauses were there. The table topic speeches, speaker one was there was something the word something he repeated again and again. Then second myself, I repeated so words so many times, and some words were there which. I repeat it. Then third speaker, there was nothing for him, for her. Mina was there. Fourth, some are, some so and pauses were there. Evaluated to some words repeated by him. Then her hmm, was there. General evaluator, some pauses were there with hmm and our words. That's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Gunjan. It's a, a kind of detailed uh, record. Uh, thank you so much for that. Can we hear it for Gunjan? And for all the role takers. Thank you. With this, um, let me uh, move to the president. Um, the president, uh, uh, I mean, the presidential address as such was great and it was uh, crisp and the prime job is to open the meeting, share the thoughts on the theme and then introduce the TMOD with a punch. And um, you you did an excellent job, um, Bidu. Thank you so much. Can we hear it for the presidential address? Uh, TMOD Girish. Definitely, I would agree with what Bidu said. This is your first time. It's very tough for us to believe it. There are uh, many tough things which uh, TMOD needs to take care and you aced it well. You gave a very good introduction to Christmas festival and you are very interactive, asking questions and getting people to answer it and so on. So not just once or twice, uh, right? There are multiple times you kept it very, very interactive. That, that was um, pretty good. And you connected the things well as well. After one session to the other, you connected the things well as well. These are all things um, TMODs learn over time. And on day one, you did a fabulous job. And what is something probably you can look to improve, right? The role of TMOD is not to just take the stage and then... Uh, try to call people once in a while, right? The role of TMOD is something like a connector. So you are mainly um, 
like uh, a music director who gives signal and bring people to the stage, right? So your job is to ensure everyone else come to the stage and present. Rather, you also spent a lot of time on the stage. You took a lot of time on the stage, which is something you need to definitely take a note and see how to reduce that. That's that's one feedback I'll leave you with. Uh, with that, let me move to the table topic master. And uh, definitely I need to say, like I pointed about Milin sir, Joseph sir's um, role of table topic master is one such example, uh, right? To keep it for others to uh, learn in the future. Um, are you all able to hear me? Because everyone's image is frozen for me. So I want to make sure I'm audible. Yes, you're audible. Okay, thank you. And first thing is uh, the topics were conducted in an interesting way. He gave a twist asking people to choose the number and from the number he went to the topic. And most of the topics were aligning with today's theme. Right, that's a, a great thing as well. And those were not too complex, uh, right? Those were apt for today's theme and those were interesting and something which is not too hard for people to speak on, right? That encouraged everyone to raise hands, come in and speak. And when the speech got over, he shared some related events. He connected it well as well. So uh, Girish, a good example for you to learn is how the table topic uh, I mean, session was conducted today, right? When, um, uh, when um, there was a table topic speech, uh, right? Um, I think Gunjan spoke, right? And after that, he came in and talked about his daughter. Still, he told a story, right? Which is very good. And though he told a story, he didn't take a lot of time. He just took a uh, few minutes and then uh, not even a few minutes, um, a minute or one and a half minutes and then moved on. That's a key skill for a TMOD for sure. And he, he gave those uh, short and good connectors. Thank you, Joseph, sir. Can we hear it for the TMOD? Can we hear it for the table topic master, Joseph, sir? With this, let me give the control back to the TMOD. The first timer and star of today, Girish. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator Nadian. So it was a, a brief evaluation for all the speakers um, of today's session. And I think everyone got uh, what tips they are looking for from uh, the general evaluator, what they need to correct and what they need to uh, improve. Thank you. So it's time for us to wind up. Before that, again, it's a theme Christmas celebration. So I remind you, everyone, don't like we have speak much about the christmas celebration i request everyone to bring that happiness to your family and your family members also this energy that you have shown in this session take that and spread it across uh, whoever you are meeting in your family and uh, we will be meeting on the next session as our um, our heroes of the session that like the grammarian uh, like the pmo uh, bidu and others will be sharing the meeting invites and Wishing you all, like we have celebrated, the, we have initiated uh, talking about the Christmas is this year, first in this meeting. So we will be, uh, the start has been from our Toastmaster Club. Have that energy and happiness uh, throughout uh, the next year. Wish you all a happy, loud, uh, loving Christmas and a advanced happy new year. Over to our uh, presiding officer, Bidu. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmasters of the Day, Toastmaster Girish. I think you totally ace this role and the number of adulations that you're receiving on this podium is something which I feel that you totally deserve it and you should take it. Uh, with this, I, I, I'll I check with our vote master, Adash, if he has got the number of votes which he requires to announce the winners or he needs one more minute for the people to vote. 
Yeah, uh, we have around nearly probably around six votes at the moment. So maybe I'll just post the voting link once again. All of you can go ahead and cast it. Should I request everyone to just cast their votes because um, the role takers have done a tremendous job in prepping their roles, and we should acknowledge the ones who have done better in this meeting. Saying that, I would like to hear from the people who have joined our club for the very first time, or they have joined after a long gap. So I want to hear from evaluated you to Toastmaster Shiba because. For me, I see her for the first time in speech reverse. So I want to know if this is the first time she has come here. And if yes, how did she like the entire meeting? Uh, thank you, Bitu, for this wonderful opportunity. Actually, this is not the first time. I used to observe this meeting uh, frequently. Uh, actually, I want to take one of the role. Um, uh, today, luckily, I was free and I could uh, take up the role. It was a wonderful meeting. And uh, all the speakers and the table topic speakers, everyone uh, did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Shiba. We would love to have you in other roles as well in our subsequent meetings. Sure, sure, sure. I love to do so. Yeah. Um, Toastmaster Elias, I think you joined a little bit late. Um, so you could not attend the table topics. We wish you could have joined a bit earlier so that you would have taken part in to the table topics. Um, but um, we would like to know like whatever capacity you spent, did you like it, whatever you heard, and from where exactly are you joining, which part of uh, the world? Oh, hello, I'm from Indonesia, District 87. It is in Surabaya, Division G, Empire Toastmasters, and I think I joined during the GE session, so I cannot really attend because I just arrived at home and I clicked the room and to join. And yes, I hope that you enjoy the early Christmas celebration because uh, I also celebrate Christmas celebration. And we have TTM Nur here also for coming late. <laughs> and yes, uh, better late than ever. So happy early Merry Christmas and happy early New Year to all of you here from Indonesia. Back to you. Thank you so much. Uh, same to you. And actually, we see people joining us. We, I can see Noor Muhammad joining. But uh, unfortunately, we have almost come to the end of the meeting. So yeah. we don't have any table topics right now to give it to them. Obviously, we would have liked to have them earlier. Uh, with this, um, I again check with Adarsh if he has got a number of votes so that we can announce the winners for today. Thank you. I have a total of uh, nine votes. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and stop accepting the responses. All right. So can I just go ahead and announce the winners? Is that all right? Sure, others go ahead. Sure. The best supporting role taker for today's meeting was overwhelmingly it was uh, Zoom Master, it was Master Bidu. Congratulations on being the best supporting role taker. The best role taker in today's meeting, I think this was actually quite a, now I think, I'm sure all of us can guess that it was our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Girish. A round of applause for Toastmaster Girish on being the best role taker in today's meeting. We cannot wait to see you play the TMOD role again and again. As a matter of fact, half of us couldn't even realize that it was your first time playing the Toastmaster today. The best auxiliary role taker in today's meeting was our very own presiding officer, come Vice President of Education, Toastmaster Bidu. Congratulations on being the best auxiliary role taker in today's meeting. The best speaker in today's meeting, I think this was quite split, but I think it was uh, quite a tussle, no doubt. But uh, thank you very much for voting for me. I was uh, the best speaker today. Thank you for that. The best evaluator in today's meeting was DTM Millen. Congratulations on being the best evaluator in today's meeting. And this is probably what will excite all of us the most. It is the best table topic speaker. The best table topic speaker today, I think a lot of them had a fair chance, to be honest, but I think there was one that came out on top and it was Toastmask and Mina. Congratulations on being the best table topic speaker. I would like to appreciate all the role takers, speakers and evaluators in today's meeting because I don't really think it is, I don't think it was easy for any of us to vote for anyone because obviously all of us were on top of our game. I think we put on a wonderful show. So I'd like to hand it back to our presiding officer for me. Thank you so much, uh, voting master. And I congratulate again to all the winners who have done well. And for the others who missed out, there's always the next Friday to take up roles and get some awards.
I also thank Toastmaster Meena because she took the role of a timer at the very last moment. And uh, I think we are almost very much on time. So a wonderful job done as a timer, Toastmaster Meena. And for everybody else, I really appreciate the effort that you have taken in different capacities. I, have, I can see some people are using props, live props. Some are using some different backgrounds to encourage the vibe which our Toastmasters of the day Girish wanted us to have, which is about celebrations. And actually it leads into a December, a good, good um, beginning to the December term. With this, I end this meeting. A very good evening to all of you. And I hope to see you all in the next Friday, the same time. Thank you and have a nice evening. Thank you. Bye. Thank everyone. you. Bye bye.